side. I'm Peter hiding in the bathroom, hello. That's a 911 caller taking deep breaths, pretending to be frightened. Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us. Lakeland police had to respond as if there really was a mass shooting at a popular restaurant this week. Polk County Bureau reporter Stacy De Silva joins us now live from Lakeland Police Headquarters, where detectives are trying to track down that 911 caller. Stacy. Yeah, Jenna Keith, this is super serious. It's called swatting. A person makes a false report to 911, sending lots of law enforcement to a specific location. The person in charge of Ford's garage in Lakeland said the whole thing was surreal. I pray that I never experience anything like it again. Managing partner at Ford's Garage in Lakeland, Steve Holmes, says Monday afternoon his restaurant was suddenly and inexplicably surrounded by police. There was a uh, uh, show of force with Lakeland Police Department at the front door, and then as I looked out the window, I saw that there had also uh, multiple units surrounding the, the property, all access points. Somebody had reported a mass shooting at the restaurant. Yeah, an active shooter. The caller falsely claimed nine people were hiding in the bathroom and two dozen people were shot. You keep saying 24 people have been shot. That's very specific. Did yes. you see 24 people get shot? Yes. Yes. Officers on scene kept customers and staff at Ford's garage calm and cleared the building. There's people out there that just doesn't make sense why they do the things they do. I can't quite wrap my head around it. 911, what's your emergency? Swatting is when people make false calls to 911, <coughs> which initiates a massive law enforcement response to a specific location. Lakeland police say this incident posed a danger to officers and the public. Anytime we have officers going lights and sirens to a scene, there's added concerns with vehicles on the roadway, and especially at that time where people are starting to get off work. Lakeland Police's Robin Tillett adds resources are already stretched, and swatting just made it worse. I don't know anybody that would find that funny. Detectives are working to identify and arrest this caller. They would face a charge of filing a false report to law enforcement, which is a third degree felony. Jen, this is not a joke. No question. And swatting is not new, but has Lakeland ever had a case like this? Here in Lakeland, no, I'm told this is the only case in this jurisdiction. But if you do an internet search of swatting, you'll see a lot of recent cases, including two at the home of Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene just in the last month, Jen. All right, Stacey DeSilva reporting live for us in Lakeland. Thank you.